Okay, so we covered the market theory, so let me just mark it. Okay, so why all of this is complete bullshit? All of this complete nonsense? And you're thinking, why is there people who are like, uh, have like 3 million views? Like, what is the difference? Why is one guy having 1 million views, having a successful channel, selling bazillion courses? And, and there are some people who are like, not even there. Why, like, why did... Why you make the same content and there is literally nobody clicking on your videos, right? And the answer is very simple. It's a pay-to-win system. Like all of this is a pay-to-win system. The reason why they are on top is because they're paying to have their videos promoted or the channel somehow promoted. Now, you think it's organic. They tell you it's organic, but it's not. Because look, here's my channel. You can literally go in here and off you go. You see, you have your budget, you have your targeting, you have your video, and off you go, pay to win system, right? Now, this can manifest itself in many different ways. You can, um, well, I'm kind of jumped in here already. Well, let, let, let's continue, let's continue, right? Now, this can manifest itself in many, many different ways. You can do it through uh, asking other YouTubers to promote you on their channel, right? You can also ask, um, radio to promote your channel, newspapers to promote your channel, Google advertising, Facebook advertising. You have to remember that popularity can be purchased. It can be purchased, right? Can be purchased. All right, so I hope you understand this. Now, you are thinking, okay, because I worked in sales, you know, I did uh, pay per click. Advertising sales. Now, you're thinking, what what type of budget, what type of budget do you need to have, like, this level of success? I'm talking, like, where you have, like, 3 million subscribers and you're selling courses for, like, a 1,000 and people are still buying them because they really think that you're super popular. You're on every talk show. So, um, let's go back a step. And let's talk about privileged class. I already discussed in multiple my videos that our society is, we have two societies. We have the privileged class and then we have the working class, right? Now the privileged class are the guys with all the money. The working class are the guys with technically all the skill. But the privileged class are just so far better off. It's it's like, it's, it's, it's very sad situation. And you have to remember, I already made a video on this, privileged class does not want you out of the working class system. If you are born in the working class, they will do whatever it takes to make sure that you never, ever escape the working class. And the reason for that is because you have to remember, they don't want to do anything, right? And you are their horse. Now, it is not in their interest to let the horse free. Do you understand? It's not in their interest to make sure that the horse sits at the table with them and not doing any work because the horse needs to work for them to make money, right? Otherwise, they're going to have to do everything themselves. They don't want to do that, right? So that's that, that's our society, capitalism, effectively. That's the way it is. Now, I would strongly encourage you. I'm going to link this in the description below. Watch this video. Watch this video. This is the reality check of how the privileged actually live. And now look at your life and think, what are my odds of ever getting here? I'm talking ever, right? <sighs> okay. Then, now I'll give you a brief description. They have obscene amounts of uh, resources. I'm talking like, I'll just give you an example, right? They spend 10,000 pounds, 10,000 pounds per month for their kids to go to high school. Just the high school. That's not even university. It's just a private, typical private EV, like it's, they're called Ivy League or privileged schools or whatever. Private schools, whatever, right? 10,000 per month, per month. Now, I did the maths. How much do you have? And that's just in euros right i did the maths 
how much do you have to earn just to have cash in hand 10,000 and the sum in Ireland is 22,000 I don't know a single person myself personally who earns this type of money like 200 that's quarter of a million salary they are blowing a quarter of a million salary for the child for high school just for high school the like you just just I just want you to remember this number okay so that's that's the privilege guy so now we can deduct these guys have an obscene amounts of money obscene relative to you you will never earn this type of money I'm talking like it's just not possible 220 like it's just not possible you know what I mean if you are if you're in the working class okay so now where is the real sale the real sale the real sale for these guys uh, where is the dropshipping guys yeah so they want to convince you that they are not from here they want to tell you dude I went into uh, public high school I went into whatever I, I from poor neighborhood they want to convince you that they were like you but you have to remember that that there is the sale if they can sell you and convince you that they were like you you're gonna buy their products because you will think that they have figured out the secret right now if, imagine they were selling you oh yeah my dad gave me 100 million and i just blew it on advertising and now i'm like giga famous because every single because you have to remember airtime per day is limited Right, so whatever they show on CNBC, the highest bidder will be on the show. If you have a budget of 10 million per year, they're gonna show you, right? Because not a lot of companies can, not a lot of people can afford, <laughs> right? So the highest bidder is gonna win. So the sale is to convince you that they are the shitters, that they were the, they are the, you know, that they are like the working class, they are the peasants and you know and like they were like super poor super stupid or some shit like that and now voila they discovered the system they were like a super shitter and not nothing was working for them and you know their parents were beating them and like oh my god and like they they were sleeping in the in the basement of some i don't know some serial killer and and then voila they discovered the secret and now they're gonna share share the secret that's the sale you have to remember that's the sale okay now they also tell you that they were poor so I like to kind of give you an, an understanding of what that you cannot sue them for scamming you because the term poor is very relative right because relative to Saudi Arabian Prince Jeff Bezos is very poor because Saudi Arabian Prince has a, a trillion dollars but Jeff Bezos only has a couple of billions Do you understand so when they say oh I was poor when I was growing up what they mean is that their friend got a private jet for 16th birthday but they only got lamborghini and a private kenny west concert while the friend got a private jet so they relative to that person they think they're poor so the meaning of poor is very subjective do you understand okay so i hope you understand the message so how are they getting so successful because they pay to win now the reason why i told you about this sum of money imagine how much money now that's just for high school how much they can blow how much money can they blow to get their kids to be on the cover of i don't know sports illustrated or business insider or whatever whatever the famous magazines i, I don't know what i don't know the magazines but like whatever they, they they are willing to spend just 10k just to get a, a kid into high school do you not think that they're gonna spend 100k just to get their kid on the cover of whatever magazine or cnn uh, latest news of course they would do you have 100k per month no you don't i highly doubt you do right so it's a pay to win system now let i'll, I'll link this video in the description below so this is the reality of drop shipping so that's his uh, that's his results this guy seems to be honest I found him you know so look he basically lost 50% of money that he invested and that's I'll tell you out of like out of 
like all of those systems do not work right and that's gonna be your result now if you listen if you keep listening to him somewhere here he says the, I consider this to be success because I tried multiple times previously and I never had revenue so this figure here is even bigger right now you may think that this is like at least he made some money there is hope and I'll be party pooper and you have to also factor in the opportunity cost okay so the opportunity cost is the cost of not doing something okay I'll try to explain it to you let me just try to explain it to you this is kind of economics and accounting when you do management accounting decision making you have to factor in it's called opportunity cost all right so let's say you have choice of work for one hour work for one hour in garden and get paid ten dollars okay ten dollars that, that's that's option one okay option one option two is go play football with fr friends right so the opportunity cost is if you do because you have only one hour do it, playing football will cost you ten dollars because you cannot play football and clean the garden at the same time so that's why they say opportunity cost right so opportunity cost of playing football is ten dollars of not doing garden work opportunity cost of doing one garden work one hour of garden work for ten dollars is the opportunity is the loss of not playing football with friends does that make sense so when he's saying here oh shit one sec i have to find the video again okay i found the video so he spent 30 days 30 days right so he spent spend 30 days of doing drop shipping right now option two would be to work in a shop for minimum wage okay so i don't know in ireland minimum wages i think it's like 11 euro right 11 euro or something like this for 30 days so how much money would he make so um 11 multiplied by eight hours and multiplied by 30 days so 2.6 thousand so now we have to add this um as a opportunity cost so his expense would be 1.3 thousand well let's do 1.3 thousand so that was his expense in re re realistic expense because you have to remember every day he's wasting his time on drop shipping he is not earning uh money in the workshop right so we have to sum this up right so his real cost was four thousand in here and he only made six point six thirty. Only made six thirty. So then you have cost to benefit is this minus this. So that's his total cost. Now, because he made a loss, he cannot invest a loss, right? You have to factor in that if he, if he was to, ch if he just chose to work in a shop, he would have a profit. He would just have profit of this right he would have this amount here then you can earn 10 percent investing into standard and poor on something like s p 500 or world fund or whatever right so we have to factor that in multiply by 0.1 actually we can just do this so that's the opportunity real opportunity cost of um doing the drop shipping do, do you understand like how it just like accumulates 
because this is total waste of his time and he said he has been doing it for like multiple times so you have to understand that every 90 days that he's wasting on drop shipping he could be working earning 11 euro per hour and investing in s p at 10 percent so you, you understand like over five years the sum of money is so large that it's just it's like it's insane it's just insane to even try to do this stuff because if it doesn't work you've been outperformed by a minimum wage worker who is now so far ahead of you do you know what i'm saying so just think about like okay 11 multiplied by eight hours multiplied by uh, so that's what per day well you can do 40 uh, 40 hours per week multiplied by 52 so that's your salary, right? And we can multiply it. Well, that's that's your salary, right? And let's say you've been like trying to do this shit for whatever for five years, right? You have to also factor in S and P. Now this is kind of over glamorous. Yeah. So this, in five years, is going to cost you approximately... Well, wait, 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 wait. Well, let's just do minimum wage. Just minimum wage, without S&P. Without S&P, just, just do minimum wage, right? It's 114,000. When you're on minimum wage, you pay almost no taxes. Do you understand? So if he's living in his mom's basement after five years, he could have saved up because his mom probably makes him sandwiches. Um, his mom, he doesn't need to pay any rent. If he would just go into McDonald's and work for minimum wage, he would have saved up 15,000. Do you understand? As opposed to wasting your time on this complete nonsense. Right? And that's it. Like, that's what I'm saying is that this is, it's not gonna work. That's why you are the guy who is buying the courses because you are trying to be you are trying to be this. Do you understand? You're trying to be You are trying to be this. You're trying to be this guys here. Born and raised in the silk. Silk and diamonds. And they promise to you, these guys, that they will get you there. Only if you buy their course. So I'm telling you, stop wasting your time. Okay? Just stop wasting your time. Alright, so I hope this convinces you. Alright, so reality of dropshipping covered. I'll link this in the description below. Okay, cool. Whoops. A month ago, I started with the... Okay, so what do you do in your situation, right? Don't waste your time on this bullshit. On all this, like, I don't know, dropshipping... Uh, Crypto trading, day trading, whatever the hell there is now nowadays. What else are they selling you? Well, affiliate marketing, uh, pyramid schemes, uh, resale, mobile phone resale, Etsy courses, whatever the hell they are selling nowadays, right? You have to understand they are there because of the insane marketing budget that they have. It may or may not be off. But if they're willing to, if their parents are willing to blow 10k on high school education, which is, in my opinion, complete waste of time, waste of money, right? They will not care about blowing quarter of a million, even if his channel does not break even and never makes makes a profit. The child is still popular. He is on cover of some magazines. He's been invited to talk shows. That's payoff. That payoff is enough. If he sells courses, that's fine. Now, you will not be that child, unfortunately, sorry to tell you, I'm not that child either, right? So, you need to find something that you will enjoy to the level where you don't really care. You don't do it really for the money, you do it for, because you like, right? There's two ways to do it, you, you either like do, do what you like and try to improve. So, try to improve. So you are the benchmark 
Okay, so I'm talking about like you see, do not compare yourself to those guys because that train is gone because you 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 were just born on the working class. But try to benchmark yourself. Okay, how much money am I earning? What is my skill right now? Uh, am I good at this and that? You know, like set up some kind of a benchmark and try to improve because self improving is very very fulfilling. Now I'm not going to get into super debates, but there is argument by Malcolm Gladwell who says that actually being born in middle middle class is the best situation because a lot of these guys they are prone to uh, like alcohol abuse uh, drugs mental health issues because you have to understand that these people Uh, like pursuing a goal is very interesting time spending do you know what I mean like it's just it's, it's very interesting to spend your time to in pursuit of a goal and then accomplishing it is very very cool it's very fulfilling but to them there is no goal if he wants a fancy car like for you to get a fancy car you gotta work for it and that car is a trophy Whereas for these guys, they are born and they already have multiple trophies. And they had to do zero work to get it. And most people who give them trophies, you have to remember in the like they're not they're they're not I wouldn't say they're super intelligent, but I would say they're not super dumb either, right? They will understand that they are getting the award not because they put in the effort, but because their dad made it so. Hunter Biden good example right complete uh, like mental mental issues drug abuse I mean like you name it he done it probably and a lot of them are like that because like there is a cost there is a cost with uh, being born in this privileged society do you know what I mean so I'm just saying that you know possibly middle middle class is possibly the best situation if you are in the low middle class it sucks because you most probably have to work all the time and you will not be able to manifest your talents ever because you're just too busy working in mcdonald's all the time to i don't know to to help your parents or whatever but if you're a middle middle class you have a lot of options you can practically do anything right you, you'll never reach this level that's true but you don't have to to have a fulfilling life you don't have to like I'll quote Warren Buffett I think at one of the interviews he's like one of the biggest investors like he's a very successful investor but he said you will never like don't he said like don't, don't really care about the income because um, the best meals would be like Burger King or McDonald's he, he really likes McDonald's and he says like Coca-Cola is like one of the best drinks he is a Coca-Cola shareholder so he's biased I'm not a Coca-Cola um, shareholder but I will tell you Coca-Cola is definitely one of the best drinks you can ever drink because I tried like almost anything at this stage because I'm over 30 so I mean I, I tried a lot of stuff and I'll tell you I highly doubt you will get a drink better than Coca-Cola it's just it's not gonna happen right for meals I tried the expensive meals I tried Burger King for me or like some kind of steak well not steaks I don't like steak I'm talking like some kind of a quarter pounder burger with chips is by far the best stuff you can eat by far it's the nicest right so like wh why do you need to eat uh i don't know caviar in private jet it's not gonna do anything just think back in time when you wanted like some kind of um shoes or some shit like that right you bought the shoes after three days that's it like that 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 feeling is gone right and for for these people you can actually feel sorry because they can buy anything at any point in time so they don't even need to do anything for it you know what i mean so what I'm trying to say is grow as a person, improve yourself, and don't waste money on those stupid courses. Just don't give them more money because they just, they already have enough, right? Look after yourself. Okay, so what do you do with your uh, excess money if you want to grow your wealth? Um, either War Vanguard World Fund, um, S&P 500, Warren Buffett recommends S&P 500. So you can just go with that. Pension funds basically are the best. So well, let's see. 
Vanguard All World Fund. I think it's this one here. I'll link it in the description below so you can see. Basically, whenever you sign up for pension, that's what you're buying. That's it. So you see, you get your 1.7% dividends in here. Uh, you have almost 4,000 stock, so it's very distributed. So imagine 10 stocks, 10 companies fail. I mean, because you're diversified over 4,000, you won't really notice that they're failed at all. Like imagine you have 10 companies and that's all you're holding and all of them fail, you are doomed, like all your money is gone. But if you have 4,000 companies and 10 fail, you don't really care. And also you have to remember that money tends to never disappear, they tend to travel from one place to the next. It's just like a transfer of value, right? So if 10 companies fail, that means other 10 companies succeeded and you're gonna capture it because you're probably investing in them, right? And this is spread across the whole world. You can see where um, the distribution is. I think it's in here. Yeah, so North America is very high, 63. And also the good thing about Vanguard is that every fund is a separate company. So if Vanguard as a company fails, which I mean, I don't see it happening because this is a humongous company. We're talking like, it's been doing pension funds for a very, very long time. Like 50 years now. And they have nine trillion assets after, under management. So nine trillion is a lot of money. Like companies and governments cannot afford to have something like this fail because too many pensions rely on this. Because you have to remember, this is practically pension money, right? And if this thing fails, it's gonna be very, very bad. So I don't see this happening. But even if that happens, you have to remember that your fund is separate company. It will still function. Okay. So it's I'm gonna link this in the description below. Another one, which is recommended by Warren Buffett. I think it's. I don't know how to spell it correctly because I have them in my. Uh, Five hundred probably. Is it? Yeah. It's basically this one. Yeah, VUSA. That's the one. Or you can buy this one as well. That's the one uh, Warren Buffett recommends. So in here you have 506 stocks. So these are the top companies in America. And the difference between this one and the other one I showed you is that this one is America concentrated. where other, Whereas the other one is a world concentrated, right? So, but I mean, realistically, what are the odds of America failing? Do you know what I mean? America is like one of the most successful countries in the world. And they are also a democracy and they run capitalism, you know, so European, in the long term, I don't know, I don't know. But like, I, I just don't see USA failing, honestly, as a company. Knock on wood, one, two, three, knock on wood, so. Now, pensions have this option for you to transfer to S&P, but, but by default, they always go with the World Fund because, I mean, this one is bulletproof pretty much because if Amer even if America fails, I mean, you're, you have to remember, like, if America fails, some other company like Germany is probably going to be uh, doing really well or Europe or I don't know, France, Italy or something like this. So if America fails, that money will probably transfer somewhere into Europe or um, you might be talking about uh, New Zealand or Australia emerging markets could be something like Brazil uh, India or like Japan well it's not Japan's not emerging market but Japan would be here probably right but you, you know what I'm talking about like if like if one America fails I mean we still have Japan South Korea like there is a there's a lot of stuff that is valuable where you can put your like Taiwan they do manufacturing semiconductors that's very very important for the future right so you're not gonna like go bust in German whereas with S&P um, if America fails 
you're probably doomed. But I mean, I just don't see that happening. Do you know what I mean? Because you also have to fact, like you have to factor in that if um, I'm going on a slope in here a little bit, but you have to factor in that if America fails, the dependency on America is so high that the whole world is probably going to go into chaos. You know. But because if America is failing, that means democracy and capitalism is failing as a system. And that means the Chinese and the Russians, they're, with their dictatorship, is uh, advancing. We're probably talking like... Uh, but I don't see them... I, we're probably talking about some kind of world, world war event. And I don't see them winning at all. Because no, no, no nobody wants to be part of dictatorship. It's just too... Uh, Anyway, I'm going on slope, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna link the two funds in the description below so you can kind of um, know where to put your money and do not deviate from this strategy. Do not deviate from this strategy ever. I'm talking about if somebody promises you, I don't know, 200% returns, they ask this question, are they regulated? If not, never ever give them a single penny because they are gonna scam you. They are gonna scam you, I guarantee you, right? Okay, a comprehensive course and a rant. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a wonderful day. Take care.